Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, I'm bringing you a special E3 edition of Game Caviar Gaming News. Now, I have a lot to report, and I have very little bit of time to report it in. But before I get into all that, I'm playing Dragon's Dogma. This is a game that I, I made that video of when the demo came out, and I loved it, and I just wanted it so bad. And I picked this game over Ghost Recon Future Soldier because I have a lot of shooters on the channel. Okay, this game is and I'm gonna get Ghost Recon, so don't fret. Okay, but this game right here adds balance to the channel and it allows us to have a wider variety of the videos that we produce. So for now, we're gonna ride with Dragon's Dogma and uh, you know, along with Max Payne 3 and all the other games that we have, Saints Row the Third. But anyway, let's get into the news Star Wars 1313, a game from Lucasfilm. Uh, Lucas Arts or probably Lucas Arts, but anyway, it's coming out and I saw a trailer for it last night on game trailers TV on spike network spike TV channel or whatever they want to call themselves and the game looks amazing uh, They are pulling in all resources to make this game and basically you play as a bounty hunter and you go around the universe And you collect bounties you get people you bring them to justice. I thought you were gonna be playing as Boba Fett But you're not I don't think you are. They haven't really said who you're going to be playing as, but it's not looking good. Keep your fingers crossed. But even if you're not, the game still looks amazing. And that's coming from a diehard uh, Star Trek fan. And not I'm not that big of a Star Wars fan. So for me to say that that game looks amazing, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, let's see. What else? PlayStation 3, backwards compatible. Again, as soon as Sony gets finished making this deal, completing this deal with Gaikai. I believe that's the, the way that you say it. They are rumored to be having the PlayStation 3s be backwards compatible again with not only PlayStation 2 games, but PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. A lot of people were mad when they took away that ability, but now, at, and it's just a rumor, but it's being reported that when that service is done and it, when it's up and running, the PlayStation 3s will be backwards compatible again. So you can sound the horn, start a celebration. Backwards compatibility is coming back to PS3. That was a tongue twister. I'm glad I got through with it. Moving on, Metal Gear Solid Rising demo will be included with the Zone of Enders HD remake game. Metal Gear Solid Rising is a game that's coming out and it, I saw the trailer for it last night and it looks amazing. It's a game that I've known about, but I really haven't been following that much. But after watching that trailer, it's definitely something that I'm going to be checking into. I want to play this demo. I'm going to get the Zona Enders HD remake. So I'm, I'm going to play this demo. I want to play this demo. And if that demo really wows me, if it makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up, then I'm going to get this game. And you will see it on Game Caviar. Trust me, mark my words. Moving on, there will be a YouTube app for the Vita finally at the end of this month. This is an app that should have been on the Vita when the Vita was released, but Sony has been dragging their feet, bringing it out, but now you will finally see it on your Vitas. I know I have a Vita and I've been waiting for YouTube on my Vita since I picked up my Vita from EB Games and I've been hounding Sony on Twitter and finally, finally, because of me, you can thank me personally, but because of me, Sony has finally made a youtube app for the vita and they're going to release it on all vitas at the end of june so you're welcome you're welcome let's see what else do we have gears of war 4 is on the cover of the new game informant that is going to be coming out here within a week or so maybe two weeks i don't know check your mailboxes check the stores but the same people who made the game Bulletstorm are going to be working on Gears of War 4, and it's going to be amazing from what I understand. I haven't really gotten into Gears of War. I don't really like the game, but it's action-packed. The one game that I played, I really I, I enjoyed it enough to, to finish it, but I'm not a real big diehard Gears of War fan. But this game looks amazing. It looks good from what I saw, and I've only seen... I've only heard about things and Bulletstorm seemed like it was a pretty decent game. So I can just imagine what that team is going to do with Gears of War. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Castlevania, Lords of the Shadow 2. New trailer has debuted. You can check it out. Probably find it on uh, YouTube somewhere. You're going to see more of this game and most of the games that I talk about on here during E3. So that game, I saw the trailer and it's really action packed and you end up turning into this dragon and then you fight some big robotic looking thing it's crazy it wasn't in-game footage but it looked the trailer was good enough to keep my attention and make me interested in this game moving on 
Nintendo is <clears throat> wow. Nintendo is saying that the Wii U is moving along on schedule and that is going to be released on the day that it's supposed to be released. Everything is coming along just fine. I guess there was some doubts on whether the Wii U was going to be delayed or not, but Nintendo is saying, nah, hold on, no, everything is going fine. Everything is working good. The Wii U is going to be released as soon as, uh, well, when it's supposed to be released. I don't know whether they have a, a, a date on it. I'm not really keeping up on the Wii U, but whatever the date is, it's, gonna, it's supposed to come out on that date. Now, more exciting news. E EA, I'm getting confused. EA has officially announced Dead Space 3. Dead Space 3 is a sci-fi thriller type game. The game that I love. I'm going to be getting it. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to, to, to play a demo or even to get the game or to see in-game footage. But EA has definitely confirmed that the, uh, Dead Space 3 is, is going to be made and is going to be released. Battlefield 3 Armored Kill, the downloadable content that's going to be after CQB is going to be coming out in September. If you have, if you become part of the Battlefield 3 Premium service that is still rumored up until this point, but probably will be officially announced on E3, then you will definitely be able to get that downloadable content a week early before anybody else who is not part of Battlefield Premium. Battlefield Premium is rumored to be $50. I'm going to be getting it, and it's going to be awesome. And finally, there will be... A new SimCity released in February, and it looks amazing. I have run out of time. Thank you all for watching Game Caviar E3 special. The week before E3, we are going to be reporting on E3 during Twitter and Facebook. Facebook.com slash Game Caviar. Check us out. Like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and please support us. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and with your help, we can make that number. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar studios, and I'm out.